Hi, this is Tom, and what I'm going to do is show you how to create this TV icon in PowerPoint, and then you can use it in your rapid e-learning courses, like I did my example where you can click on the videos and watch a video. So it's a really neat effect, and it's really easy to do. So what we're basically going to start with is uh, the shapes for the TV. So I went ahead and pre-built some stuff. So the TV is really just made up of, if let's look at this one here. So the TV is really just made up of three rounded rectangles. And I, what I do is I really just start with this rounded rectangle and then I've got it gradient fill where it's a little darker here and it goes light. And then I just copied this and now this is the same rounded rectangle and what I did here was I made the fill transparent so there's no fill. And I use a gradient line and what I want to have is a slightly lighter color here and it fades into the dark. And that's what you have here, a slightly lighter color, it fades into the dark. And then I have this third shape. So let's go ahead and show you what we do. So we've got this shape would we'll just sit in here and then this other shape will duplicate this. I'm just going to scale it down a little and this becomes your TV box shape. So you can see how that works. And what I want it though is I want the dark on top so I'm just going to click on the TV box shape and I'm just going to rotate it and then that gives me my basic TV shape. So that's what we have. Let me delete this. That's what we have right here. So this is our basic TV shape. It just starts with one rounded rectangle that has a gradient fill. Now to create the uh, color bar, I'm just going to copy this. Hit Control C. Let's go down. I've got another blank slide here. And uh, actually let's move a blank slide here. So we want to create this color. So I'm going to do Control V. That's our frame. And then the, what I do is I just go ahead and um, create a bar and I'll exaggerate it here. So I create a bar that is going to fit on top of the frame and so I know it's going to fit within this frame. And then I just create seven of these. So I just hit control shift and uh, um, so then it's all lined up and I'll create seven boxes. I don't really care how big they are because once I get the seven I would just go ahead and group it and then I can scrunch it up like this and then uh, get it to fit perfectly inside uh, the TV. So that's how you would create that and get it lined up perfectly. So just create your seven and then group them and scrunch them up. Once they're scrunched up all you need to do is change the colors which is what I did right here. And then um, let me show you. So this is just our frame with the colors in there. And then to create this gel look uh, that's easy. So let me delete that. It's just a rectangle and we put it on top and then we're going to get rid of the fill or the line and we're going to fill it with white and then what we want to do is make it transparent and I use about 60 percent so just go you know fill about 60 percent transparent and um, you've got your gel look and now if you want that curve on it and you can you know you can just stick with this that probably looks fine but if you want the curve on it all you have to do is uh, edit the point. So we'll convert it to a free form and then I can right click on it, edit the shape and I'm going to go ahead and you know you can play with the curve and see what works best for you. I'm going to uh, do this here. That looks about good enough for me and I want to make move the frame up on top. So I'm going to bring that to the front. So there's my uh, TV with the bars and the curve. So I'm going to control V. That's going to um, oops, I'm sorry here. I'm going to do control C which is going to copy it. I'm going to come over here, delete this one. We'll do control V. There's our uh, TV. I can uh, move that down. Now we want to create the knobs and the grills and the feet and that's easy enough to do. The knobs are just basically circles with gradients. So if you look at it you've got one circle it's dark light. The other one is uh, exact same circle. I just copied it, made it a little smaller and then rotated it so it's dark and light here. So when we look at them together it just looks like a knob and this is a rounded rectangle. So You can see I just uh, made it real round. The grill is the same thing. It's just a rounded rectangle. So let's make it bigger so you can see that. So it's just a rounded rectangle here and I just happened to make it real round and then make it thin. What we'll do is copy these and paste them onto the TV and then the feet are just a square or rectangle with dark, light, dark. So let's go ahead and copy and paste those. There's our TV. I pasted two knobs and then I just copied the grill marks, put them there and I put the feet there.